Before we get into today's video, I've got three things for you. Number one, if you want to get a notification whenever we post a new video, make sure you ring that bell. Number two, there's a TCG Player affiliate link in the show notes. After clicking that link, every purchase you make on tcgplayer.com helps support this channel. Number three, you'll also find a link to our Patreon where you can support us directly. And now, kick back and enjoy the show. Previously on the Spike Feeders. Uh, I'm Bill. I'm going to be starting us off in turn order today, and I'm playing Yogmoth Thran Physician. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name's Alex. I, I'm playing Aether Lich, uh, which is helmed by Timna the Weaver and Kaidella, Chosen of Krufix. Uh, I'm Jim. Uh, I am playing uh, Sasuke the Unwielding. This is a wild pair deck. Uh, and I'm Elliot. Uh, and I'm playing my Yuriko the Tiger Shadow uh, Ninja slash Time Walk Tribal uh, deck. What's up, Spikes? Welcome back to the Double Up. Uh, we're about to go again. Hopefully this time I can cast some cards. Uh, we're playing the same decks, and uh, for those of you who don't know, a Double Up is an episode where we play the exact same decks right after we got done with the first game. Uh, for patrons, you're seeing this right after the first game came out. But if you're not a patron, it's already Monday. You wasted three days without seeing this excellent content. You oh, could have been five? watching it. Is that five days? Oh, that's five days. five days. What? That's two more days than I thought it was. What's Thursday? Monday minus Thursday? Uh, five. Because it's February? Thursday, Wait. Friday, <laughs> Saturday, Sunday, Monday. That's five. That's as many as oh. one hand. That's, that's too many one days. One hand's days. <laughs> exactly, because for just one dollar, you can save one hand of days. Wait, so five, but one. Exactly. Five is greater than one. <laughs> so if you've half got one dollar a month... Did confirm Half-Life 3? Oh, God. I think that's Half-Life Alex, I think Alex, that already though. happened, yeah. And it's VR. Anyway. Back to this. For just a dollar a month, you could already have been watching this before you're currently watching this. So think about it. Also, you get access to the Discord, where I am. Come say hi. <laughs> yeah, Adam. At Alex. At, yeah, at all the Mc, time. McPrez? Uh, no, I think it's just at, at Alex. At I think Prez? it's just at, at Alex and yeah, no. Discord. No, yeah. yes, I don't know. I think it's Prez, though. Yeah, my, so we're my... playing the same decks. Same yeah. decks. Same decks. Let's get Let's go. Let's start the game. Let's start the game with this fantastically lovely... Draw a card. <gasps> Drawing a card, because I remember how this game works. And then with a polluted delta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Which I'm going to go ahead and crack. Going to 39. 39. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this Godless Shrine untapped. Untapped? Yeah, you're all the way down to 37. Just bolting yourself. Yeah, right to the face. This isn't modern now. To the dome. It's not? Man, I'm playing this thing wrong. <laughs> uh, and just to make things fun, fast, and fair, I'm going to go so ahead and enlighten Tutor. Oh, okay. oh. I'm going to get Golgari Signet and put that on top of my library. Mm. Okay. Yeah, man. You know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. Sometimes I gotta, respect it. Sometimes you, you gotta. Yeah, I'm done. Enlightened tutor for a go very signal. Polluted delta. And I will pass the turn. I will draw a card. Uh, I'm gonna play a command tower. Uh, ask me what it's like to have a perfect man base. No. Uh, and then I'm gonna cast a slither blade. I didn't, the I didn't like that. I think just to have it officially on the record, I did not like that. Duly noted. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm going to play a Swamp as my land for the turn, and I'm going to tap the Swamp for one black mana. That I'm is what a Swamp use does. the black mana to pay the costs for this spell, which is called Tenacious Dead. Tenacious oh. D. Tenacious D. Uh, I'm going to pass the turn. Alrighty, I'm going to draw this totally secret card that none of you have seen. Yes. It's a total mystery. Does anybody know what he just drew? No. That card. <laughs> oh, lovely. Tenacious Dead was in my very first magic deck. I'll play the Swamp. I bet it, it was, was in the Pick of Destiny, too. I'm going to cast Dark Ritual. Oh. Add three black to my mana pool. Oh, no. Yeah, we're you dead. certainly are. We're, like, actually dead. Yeah. Or... Uh, you guys are vastly overestimating both my skill cast and, my, and my ability. Then I'm going to cast Golgari. Oh, that's, like, pretty okay, good. Okay, you have okay. a black yeah. floating. Black floating. Use that black floating to add black and green. Okay. That's then have see. black floating again. Ooh. To cast. Dark Lana Jewel. <laughs> Lana Wolves. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to pass the turn. Yeah, okay. That's, that's actually that's like crap, though. not yeah, an unreasonable true. play. I'm going to crack this polluted delta on your end step. Do it. Blood Crypt into play tapped. That's crazy. And then I'd like to untap it. Can oh, you man. believe that? For free? Then I'll that's wild. He gets to just do that. Can you do that? Then I think I'm going to play this... Mana Cockwoods. What? What's like that? <laughs> and then I'll pass the turn. <laughs> no. 
untap. I'm going to draw for my turn. Oh, that's a good card. Uh, I'm going to play a Misty Rainforest. And uh, I'm going to save myself some time here, kind of. Not really, but I'm going to crack this. I'm going to get this Underground Sea. You would. I would. I'm going to move to combat. And I'm going to attack... Bill. And if he's not blocking, which he can't, because this can't be blocked... I'm going to ninjutsu Yuriko, the Tiger Shadow. I would really like to block, though. Yeah, I bet you would. Jerk. Uh, so Bill's going to go to 39. That's going to trigger Yuriko, and I'm going to reveal ooh, a preordain. So I'm going to have everybody lose an additional one. So I have Bill, 38, Alex, 36, Jim, 38. I have the same. Approved. <clears throat> I must move to discard. Be a fun uncard. Instead of pre-ordain, have pre-and Dane. Pre-and <laughs> it's a split card. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> pre uh, I'm and going to Dane. discard. <laughs> just Dane just counters a counter spell. <laughs> I'll Dane to allow it. Dane to allow it. Pre-and Dane. <laughs> I don't even want to touch what the other one does. <laughs> uh, I'm going to discard Hope of Giraper. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. There's no more hope. It's all. It's all gone. It's all ogre now. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to play a Swamp. Bet you didn't see that one coming. And I'm going to play uh, Guardian Idol. Uh, it is a mana rock that comes into play tapped, and I can pay two to make it into a 2-2 until end of turn. Wow. Uh, I will pass the turn. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. I'm going to play Fetid Heath. Uh-oh. It's so fetid. So heathy. It, it is moderately fetid. He's a... <clears throat> Four mana with three black sources right now. Five mana even. Uh oh. Using the black to pay into Golgari Signet mm -hmm. and generating white to cast Idyllic Tutor. Uh oh. <laughs> I like that card. Just as he predicted. And so I'll grab Phyrexian Unlife. <sighs> We're going to lose. That's going to go to my hand. That is going to go to your hand. That'll pass the turn. Mm. That's great. For the record, mm. I'm a very big fan of. Uh, Idyllic Tutor and Phyrexian Unlife. Mm -hmm. You would be. I am. I'm going to play this Swamp as my land for turn. That checks out. And then I think I'm going to cast wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to cast uh, take a damage off of my mana confluence. Yes sir. 37. 37. I'm going to cast Idyllic Tutor. Oh. I really like Idyllic Tutor. Same. You would. I'm going to get the Smothering Tide off oh. of the Idyllic Tutor. Oh. And then this I'm going to pass the turn. These are some hard-hitting enchantments we're going to have off Idyllic Tutor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw. Uh, oh, let's see. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to start with this Drowned Catacomb. Uh, and then... I'm going to turn it into a Demir Clue Stone, along with my two other lands. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to tap the Demir Clue Stone uh, to cast this Preordain. Thanks. Yep. Well, I'm going to scry two. I'm, I'm, I'm a mono black deck. <laughs> you are. I'm going to put both of these directly onto the bottom of my library. That's a good sign for us, mm -hmm. I think. Some petit peu. You better just got two lands out of the way. Yeah. Mm. There could be a third land, though. And a fourth land. That seems unlikely in a commander deck. I want this one. <laughs> I changed my mind. Is that is that cheating? Yeah. Uh, but... That's what pre-ending is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to draw this card. Put the top two cards of your library on the bottom of your library. <laughs> then take the second from the bottom <laughs> card of your library and put it into your hand. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna move to combat. You got. <laughs> I'm going to attack James. Okay. Uh, Thirty-six for James. Trigger Eureka. Oh, <gasps> that's the one. Take ten. Uh, Bill to twenty-eight. Alex to twenty-six. James to twenty-six. Put yep. that number in my hand. <laughs> yep. I'm a genius. Pass the turn. At least he's six mana away from casting. And I'm going to draw a card for my turn. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to play a Swamp. 
and y'all know what happens next. Uh, he's he's back, back again. Yogmoth's back. Uh, Shows up to party. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, that's pass, his son. Pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll untap. And I'll draw. You notice how it doesn't say like Yogmoth, father of Kirik. <laughs> Who's Kirik? He's the son of Yogmoth. Son of Yogmoth. Well, that's nice and cyclical, isn't it? Succinct. <laughs> Gonna go ahead. After I play my Inventor's Fair. Okay. Ah, more like... Inventor's Unfair. Yeah, why didn't you finish the joke, Elliot? What? I blocked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna play Phyrexian Unlike. <sighs> you certainly are. Yep. So just keep hitting them ten bombs, bud. Yep. Hey... It eventually will do something. I'm sure. I think Not to Alex. <laughs> Pass the turn? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. he, he has to have negative life to start okay. taking infect. True. Mm -hmm. so. True. Mm -hmm. Actually, I could have zero or less life. He could have Shut exactly up. zero life. <laughs> I'll play this one. <laughs> Wouldn't change from now. <laughs> does Yuriko make you draw a card or does it put it in your hand? It is put into my hand. Oh. Yeah, I know. My smothering tide. <laughs> I have commanders! Gosh, do you? Did you forget? Yep. Oh, man. Go to 25. That's okay. And cast the Smothering Tithe and pass the turn. I will untap. I will draw a card for my turn and not pay for Smothering Tithe. Ooh, we did it. Make a treasure Ooh, token. That's a nice treasure token. Thanks. It's not. <laughs> I'm going to move to combat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to declare attackers. Wait, maybe I'm not. I have to do math. I'm not. I'm going to cast this first. Uh, I'm going to cast Vampiric Tutor. Uh -huh. I'm going to put this card on top, and I'm going to lose two life. Is it an additional cost? Ellie goes to Did that get no, changed? No, mm -hmm. it's on resolution. Perfect. I'm going to go to 37. Move to combat. James. Go to 25. 24. 24 for James. I'm going to reveal Draco. A soul ring! Oh, okay. Take one. <laughs> uh, Bill to 27. Alex to 25. James to 23. Whoop. I'm going to play this Polluted Delta. I'm going to crack this Polluted Delta. Mm -hmm. Going to 36. to 36. I'm going to find this island off of my Polluted Delta. I'm going to tap this island. And I'm going to cast a soul ring! I didn't see that. Nobody I knew. That one. I'm Nobody so knew surprised. that I had it. <gasps> it's crazy. <laughs> and then I'm going to cast a time warp. Uh-oh. Again? Uh, let's do it again. Let's. I've do only done it the one time. The oh, time right. Don't get too excited. Some more. Uh, any effects? Nope. Yep. Can I put I, sadness on this deck? You may. Uh, okay. Resolve. Resolve. Great. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to uh, pass the turn to myself, much like Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant. I'm going to draw a card. <laughs> Sports ball. Larry Bird. Larry. Tiger Woods. Larry That's Bird. Golf. Like shrimp. You only know that because of Parks and Rec. <laughs> Are you paying for the thing? I am not. You may you may have a thing. Wow. I'm gonna move to combat. Good. I'm going to attack James. What? <laughs> Go to twenty two. Twenty two. Trigger, here we go. Ooh. Ink Eyes Servant of Oni. Go to uh sixteen. Bill to 21, Alex to 19. Cool story. Uh, James to 16? Uh huh. It's potentially bad for us. This is a six mana creature. I'm doing okay. Not looking good for our heroes. Yeah, yeah. That's fine for me. Uh, Who's the hero? Me. Oh. <laughs> I'm. My bad. I've been doing the story the whole wrong way. <laughs> a Slither Blade. Mm hmm. And then I'm going to cast a Walk the Aeons. Targeting myself. Are you I, sure? I cannot sacrifice three islands as I do not have three islands. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I would like to untap. Okay. Uh, I would like to draw a card. I will not pay for Smothering Tithe. Uh, mm. As long as he doesn't draw lands or acceleration, he's not getting up to time stretch. So <laughs> <laughs> these are all accurate statements. I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to attack Alex <gasps> and James. <gasps> uh, 
Uh, Alex goes, Alex to, goes to 18. Yep. 18, I go to 15. goes to 15. Uh, just a single Eureka trigger. Mm -hmm. The Slither Blade is not a ninja currently. A Burden Catacombs. You guys may take zero. <laughs> uh, I will play this Burden Catacombs, though. Eight. That's not enough. Good. Eight, eight is not enough. <laughs> Uh, let's that was see. a James Bond movie, wasn't it? I think Garbage did the theme song. <laughs> I'm going to crack this Verdant Catacombs. I'm going to find this Watery Grave, uh, and I'm going to send myself to 33 to have it come into play untapped. That's not the Shadow Realm. You're right. Unfortunately for you. Six and eight. Still not enough. Eight uh, is enough. I don't know how I thought the theme song goes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tap this Watery Grave for this a is... Triton Shore Stalker. It's nope. another uh, unblockable guy. Sure. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I would like to cast Karn's Temporal Sundering. Uh, 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 targeting. Targeting. Phyrexian on life. Return that to your end. pretty good. Uh, this exiled. one gets exiled. It does exile. Don't get excited. Don't get exiled. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna do the thing where I pass it to myself again. Are we having fun, class? Today was gonna be the day. <laughs> I was gonna, gonna get to take a turn. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a card and pass and it back not to me. <laughs> Force mothering time. Instead, I sit here wishing I had a counter spell. <laughs> I'm gonna move to combat. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna attack. Yeah. Alex? Ooh. He's just unlocked my four and... mana interaction that I was holding up. There you go. <laughs> that could have happened, James. Go to 16. I'm gonna go 14. Uh, a single trigger from Show a single Yuri card. Ooh, Serum Visions. Show me potato salad. Uh, 13. 20. Alex goes 15. to 15. 13. I want to go back to 2015. That was a bad year. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, well, the world had been over for three years at that point. It was a rough time. I have a shirt from that night. Eight is a, a convenient number, because I'm going to cast this Beacon of Tomorrow's. Uh, it happens to cost eight mana. I would like to target myself. Does anybody have any effects, James? I'd like to flip up Will Bender. Ooh, Ooh. Will Flexo. <laughs> Pass. Yeah, yeah, do it. Okay, uh, I'm going to shuffle this into my library. I'm going to pass it back to myself. That's, I was hoping you'd forget. That's how this continues to work, unfortunately, for you guys. I'm going to draw a card for my turn. And not pay for Smothering Tide. Five mana interaction online. <laughs> yeah. If Elliot doesn't kill us, this is great. I'm going to untap with like 30 mana. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a basic island. Uh-oh. Yeah. That Steady. one's, that, uh, that one's you know, not not good. Are still not nine? 10. It's still not 10. Six. Yep. Seven, eight, nine? Yeah. Cannot time stretch. Cannot time stretch. That's accurate. I cannot stretch enough. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot stress enough how much I don't want to stress that much. Uh, I'm going to tap... Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't do this first. I shouldn't do this first, right? Hmm. Why are you asking us? Shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cast Serum Visions. Hmm. I'm gonna draw a card. And not pay for... So <gasps> That's drawing a card. Look uh, at this. Look at, look at this. Oh, and then I'm gonna scry two. Lines up so nice. Man, I love those dice. Where can you get yeah, those, even? I don't know. <laughs> I found, I found store. <laughs> it's shop. Is it shop? Oh, okay. I don't know. I've never bought any of our merch. Wow. It shows. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're not winning this game. Uh, uh, I'm going to put one on top, one on the bottom. That's bad for us. It's not that bad. It just has to happen is the unfortunate part at this point. I'm going to move to combat, and I'm going to swing these at Bill and this one at James. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice Tenacious Dead to give this guy minus one, minus one. You uh, got it. And I'm also going to draw a card by paying a life. Uh, yes. So you go to 19 for Are that. you paying for Smothering Tide? I am not. Seven of those. Seven and then days. any further effects? Nope. Okay, okay so, so Bill still goes to 18. I still go to 8. Uh, James I'm goes to 12. 12. Yuriko will trigger, and everybody's going to take zero off of this swamp. Uh, now I'm going to cast a spell that you guys are probably going to continue to not like uh, because it is Siege Rhino? Beseech the Queen. Oh. Besiege the Queen. Besiege the Rhino. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, you got uh, it. I'm going to search my library for a card with converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of lands I have, which How is six. Lands? Okay. You got it. Give her. So off of my Beseech the Queen, uh, I'm going to get this Temporal Manipulation. Does that cost uh, six Which or will less? You, you will notice costs five. Okay. okay. Uh, you will also perhaps notice uh, that I can cast it. You what if can. I refuse to notice? What happens then? Mm, irrelevant. Oh. Game loss. <laughs> <laughs> Just like my next turn. Yeah. I'm going to take an extra turn. You do it. All right. Oh, wait, aren't you going to pass it back to yourself? Yes, that. I'm going to pass it back Then I'm going to gonna draw for my turn. And I'm not <laughs> going to pay for the Smothering Tithe. Eight mana interaction. You can cast Ember Shot now. <laughs> yes, Scour from Existence. Hey, Bill, did you bring Pioneer? Uh, no. I think we can probably get a game in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have good news for me and bad news for everybody else. I'm going to play this Swamp. Is that news? It's news. That's 10 mana. Because we I have about 10 that last mana. turn. Yeah. It's not news. That's not news. That's old. He is <laughs> singing the news. How's that song go? I'm going to cast Temporal Stretch. Not like that. <laughs> time Stretch. <laughs> time Stretch. Yeah, you're going to stretch some time. I'm going to stretch some time. Let's I'm target myself. The Time okay. Stretch I'm going to take two extra turns after this. Yeah, do it. That's what that reads. Uh, I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to attack Bill, and I'm going to attack James. Sure. Number 11. Bill goes to... 17. 17. Uh, trigger Yuriko. Ooh, Tormented Soul. How much? Uh, one. <laughs> ten. Bill to 16, Alex to 14, James to 10. I'm going to untap for my first turn. First? <laughs> <laughs> this is not your first turn. First <laughs> extra turn from time stretch. This is your ninth Draw. turn. Draw. I will not pay. It is your ninth no, turn. No, it's his eighth, eighth turn because we got one off of Serum Visions. Yep. Yep. I'm going to play the Scalding turn. Oh no, now it's an 11 mana turn. Uh. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast a bunch of stuff because I don't have to cast another extra turn spell this turn because I'm taking another turn because time stretch. I'm going to cast Arcane Adaptation. That's bad. I'm going to name Ninja. That's good. <laughs> I'm going to move are also cursed. Yeah. <laughs> Can I go now? <laughs> I'm going to move to combat. You Do got it. it. I'm going to attack Bill. Uh, I would like to block Yuriko the Tiger Shark. And James. Damn it. <laughs> I got a 9. It didn't work. Uh, Bill will go to 15. James will go to 9. I have two Yuriko triggers, and I would like to respond to the first one by sacrificing my Scalding Tarn. And going to 32. All right, we only need to, to fetch 32 more times. Yeah. Off of my Scalding Tarn, I'm going to do something really strong, and I'm going to find this Mystic Sanctuary. A what? Uh, it is an island. Okay. R riddle me that, Batman. Who thought this card was printable? Then, it enters tapped unless I control three other islands. Not necessarily basic, but I do control four, including my water gate and my underground sea. Elliot? And when it enters untapped, which it has, I may put target instant or sorcery card from my graveyard on top of my library. So like preordain, right? Can you please uh, target something? I'm going to target this handy dandy time stretch. In my graveyard. This is bad for Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what's really funny? The blue one is uh, regrowth an uh, instant or sorcery. Yeah. The white one is put a plus one, plus one yeah, counter no. on target creature you yeah, control. Hey, the red one is make a one one. <laughs> That's like fine! I'm surprised the white one wasn't like target creature you control gets plus zero, plus two until end of turn. <laughs> you gain three life. Yeah. <laughs> white, white ones just says... Tap all other lands if this comes in untapped. Yeah. <laughs> Even the green one makes a food that's relevant yeah. in standard. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Uh, so that's I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's... And then I have two Yuriko triggers because he's a ninja from our I only care about the first one. Uh, I'm going to have everybody lose 10 to this time I would... stretch. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to go to negative one. You are. Negative Here, one. Do you want to borrow my Phyrexian on life? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's in your hand. <laughs> he has to flash it into play with this nine mana. Cheaty face. Uh, and then the second reveal is a Sensei's Divining Top. We're still in it. <laughs> Uh, so Bill goes to four, Alex goes to three. Uh, I'm going to cast, off of this Mystic Sanctuary, because it entered untapped, a Flying Man that is also a ninja. Flying Man? Flying Man. Yeah, it's his last name. The Goldman? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm also going to cast this Tormented Soul that is also a ninja, and this Changeling Outcast that was already a ninja, but now it is still a ninja. Ultra Ninja. It is as well a ninja. Uh, and then I'm going to play this Sensei's Divining Top. And I'm going to look at the top three cards in my library for a good time. Call. Wow. It's just I, three yeah. time stretches. It's <laughs> Nexus of Fate, Temporal Trespass, Xenograft. Oh. 
Yeah, so I'm, you attack- I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go to my next turn. Just, just, just attack us. I'm gonna draw. Just attack with one thing. Uh, attack I'm gonna with attack with class. five ninjas, uh, all of them at Alex. Excellent, I'm gonna cast Rout. Oh! oh. <laughs> that instant speed no. That's very good. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. So um, explain what happens, so, so obviously. Well, okay, hey, gotta, so Alex oh, mm. dies from combat damage. Yes. I'm still alive. I'm at four. So Alex dies. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. I guess he can block the Yuriko. I choose not to. Okay. Wow. He goes to negative two, and then I have five Yuriko triggers. Mm-hmm. Do the first one. Please. Okay. The first, the first one, one. Um, temporal trespass. Okay. Please I'm take dead. eleven. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. In <laughs> response to the second one, I'm nope. going to spin my. There is no <laughs> priority at this point. The game is over. Um. Nope. Yeah. No. Nope. I, I had time nope. stretch. Nope. The game's over. <laughs> <laughs> we are no longer In allowed to talk about Magic: The Gathering. The game is over. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah. Uh, wow. So, how about them blue bombers? <laughs> yeah. For people that care, uh, the bombers won the Grey Cup. They sure did. We live in Winnipeg, and that is our local Canadian Football League. And yeah, which I found out was a they have, they have not. Imagine my surprise. Is it that they haven't won, or they haven't actually been to? They haven't won. Oh, so they've been to a couple of Grey Cups, yeah. is my understanding, okay. but they kept losing them. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they haven't. They have haven't won, won since, since the last time they were good, which was a long time ago. Yeah, uh, 1990, 1990. With a team, with a league of nine teams, they should have won at least twice. <laughs> One would think. One would think. Anyway, magic was fun. <laughs> yeah. 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 Elliot. So, um, Mystic Sanctuary. I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna shout out MVP Mystic Sanctuary. Yeah. Um, unfortunately for the people that I play this deck against, sometimes that is what this deck does when it is winning. So I guess either unfortunately for me. I mean, you won, or, right? Yeah. 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 But it it happened over what <laughs> eleven turns or something. <laughs> uh. Well. Ten. It, like you were taking actions, right? Yeah, some, you were like some absurd. We were we were actively anyway. dying on your turns. You yeah. weren't just like taking extra turns, yeah. untapping, humming and hawing, and passing. Like, yeah, you, wasn't were, a, yeah, you dealt like right you right. dealt like ninety damage over the course of those turns. So like, <laughs> yeah. I'm willing yes. to, to yeah, give fine. it a pass. So. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. If if you look at the deck list in the show notes, I guess uh, when I said that it was time walks, ninjas, and one drops. Was not lying. And arcane adaptation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, arcane adaptation, conspiracy, xenograft are, and serum visions. <laughs> you saw that one. Are like they're like the super MVPs of this deck because turning all these dinky one ones into ninjas. Yeah. Like the getting more than one trigger. The yeah, damage output is big. it goes uh, through the roof. Astronomical. Yeah, for sure. Astronomical. Um, <laughs> you could say that the stars are through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what did you have going on? Anything? Not really. I had, like, some four drops in my hand. Uh, I was gonna hopefully be able to cast, like, an undying creature and oh, yeah. maybe start to ping off some of those guys, but uh, I don't think I really had a whole lot. It was a, it was a much slower hand and a much slower draw uh, as well. But, uh, again, getting down Yawgmoth was pretty important uh, as well, yeah. just for even pretending to have a game plan. Like, Well, yeah. you would have had a game plan because yeah. of, like, stuff. Yeah, it was. I thought it was interesting that you didn't fire off the Tenacious Dead killing the Shore Stalker earlier but i don't necessarily know that it mattered when it was only dealing the one yeah it only dealt one damage and didn't give you a trigger so it just like didn't really matter yeah so yeah yeah i was just sitting there waiting to draw (laughs) okay so what did you have with uh the one because you tutored the phyrexian on life right yeah what was going on with that Uh, i was just looking to uh get some protection against all the damage that was coming out that's fair especially the life loss because especially once i'm under zero at that point well, like unless you're going to hit me. Yeah. yeah. So if it wasn't for the current Temporal Sundering, it would have kept you around at least mm-hmm. for yeah, a while. I, I might have been able to I, get I changed my mind. That card's the real MVP. Yeah, <laughs> current Temporal Sundering is so good. Is current absurd. Temporal is so good. Um, what did you have? Yeah, okay. So I had um, one thing that I, I could have cast that game, but I didn't. I had Wheel of Sun and Moon in my hand. And mm-hmm. um, I could have cast it on Elliot, mm-hmm. which would have prevented him from rebuying his time stretch. Mm-hmm. Um, that's probably it's, the only thing that it would have done, though. It puts it puts them right on the bottom, right? On right? The bottom, yeah. 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 That's I interesting. I don't know that it would have been totally relevant, because you were going to draw into, like, two more time walks anyway, kind of. Um, Although it would have stopped you from drawing, like, an extra card at one point. So Yeah, spe- specifically... Yeah. I don't think it, like, super matter. Yeah. I had a Vexing Devil and an Impetuous Devils in my hand, and uh, I had the Lots Idyllic Tutor... I could have gone for Wild Pair with the Idyllic Tutor, but because I didn't have any lands, any other lands in my hand, Mm -hmm. and no other ways to ramp, I'm like, well, I could get this Wild Pair, and then I'm just going to brick on lands for like two or three turns and just do nothing. So I'm like, you know what? We're just going for the Saskia plan, right? I've got an Impetuous Devils in my hand. I can cast Saskia. I'm like, I'm just going to cast Smothering Tithe, amass like six or seven or eight mana, and just like 
Garage. Swing in. Just go, oh, I've got Elliot dealing with people's life totals, so why not, right? Yeah. Um, that's like the heat hidden secret mode is that this deck is still a Sasuke deck. <laughs> it still it's still just damage. crunch. <laughs> yeah, it's still like it, Sasuke doubles damage. Yeah. So yeah. whatever, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't have a, a ton aside from that going on, but mm -hmm. it would have been nice if I actually had interaction, like instant speed interaction in my hand. I, I run like Utter End and um, yeah. Yeah. Anguish I'm making and a couple other things. You had in access to so much. That, that was why I was like trying to kill you first. I was attacking Alex with the unblockable dudes because he, even past the unlife, had the highest life total for a while there. And then. Um, and well, like Alex is a life life manipulation deck, right? Yeah. So like, if I didn't keep going there, yeah, yeah, okay. uh, but yeah, you needed to die because you had nine treasures at the yeah, end. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, once we got past like four, I don't think it really makes sense. Yeah, because I would have like anguish on making something uh -huh. or like or utter end, utter end yeah. or whatever. Um, once it gets past four, it's pretty. You know, I, I don't have anything at that point, yeah. but. Yeah, it was a good game. A good yeah. double up. A couple quick games. Yeah. But um, two quick ones for the boys. <laughs> yeah. For the lads. Yeah. Um, for the boys and girls. And this was a great way to like break in the new studio. Yeah. Yeah. So this was like our first time ever filming a full game in this studio. Mm -hmm. So Alex, like, thank you for joining us for this. Yeah, happy Alex to be never this joined was a, us for this was a good time. Yeah. Do you want to take my hand too? What did you what did you think <laughs> of uh, of filming here in the luxurious Spike Feeders World Headquarters. You know, I, I, I can see the potential. Um, honestly, this space looks amazing. Like, I, I know it's hard to tell from the cameras, but like the entire setup just looks super ready to be done. And so as soon as like you get the walls up in here, you get the art going, it's going to look walls, amazing. yeah. Yeah, it's... Oh. Having walls is going to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, more than anything else, what, uh, what I really enjoyed today was... First, well, first of all, games were fantastic. It was a good time. Yeah, was fun. Yeah, but fun. Um, what I really enjoyed today was seeing sort of the behind the scenes, like all the work that went in here. Like, uh, you know, you, you see 40-minute game show up and you don't realize exactly how much work's gone in. Yeah, and, and, and it's and, actually like two hours of filming. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's also like two hours of setting up to film. Yeah. <laughs> and then like... You know, That's after so we turn the cameras off, there's going to be another hour of taking down all this equipment and like. But not yeah. to mention all the editing. But oh. any case, yeah. this this was a, a fantastic time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for having me. Yeah, happy yeah. to have you. Hopefully, this won't be the last time you'll be on. Yeah, no spoilers. We might want to have him back. Yeah. Don't tell him I like Maybe. him. <laughs> let us let us know cool. in the comments if you like Alex. I want and then if you don't if you don't like Alex, don't let us know in the comments. Yeah. I, don't wanna, I don't want to talk just, to you. Just let me know in the comments. Yeah, I don't no, want to don't, get no, don't. Just, just message him directly with your uh, mailing address. Yeah. <laughs> Join our Discord at Alex. Follow uh, us on Twitter. Suck. Spread some positivity yeah. and like say something nice in the comments. Yeah, so, there you go. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. We'll, anyway, uh, we'll catch you next yeah. time. Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you click that subscribe button, and you can click this link to check out our other great videos.